The title of today's lesson is Faith in God is not a spare tire. Say it that way. Faith in God is not a spare tire. And under there in parentheses I put, and neither is Reverend Ike. And neither is Reverend Ike. Now that's where that song comes back in. I want to be your number one. We'll get to that too. Again. Faith in God is not a spare tire. Faith in God is not a spare tire. Now sit down for a moment while the text are read for us by the Reverend Reginald Wins. The first text is taken from Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. The just shall live by faith. And now our second scripture for today is taken from Job chapter 22 verses 21 through 29. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt be put away iniquity far from the tabernacles. Read the 23rd verse again. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. Read the 25th verse again. Listen to this. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have Plenty of silver. Plenty of what? Silver. For then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty, and shall lift up thy face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. Thank you. Faith in God is not a spare tire. Let's hear it again. Faith in God is not a spare time. All right, that's all we're going to read on the scripture, but I want you to have the statement of the subject firmly in your minds. Because so many people use God and faith in God only as a spare tire. In the introduction first section, don't use or think of faith in God only as an emergency measure or a spare tire. And there's that old rhyme that I remembered when I was writing the notes which says, and I'll have you repeat this old rhyme after me, the devil was sick, a saint he'd be. The devil got well, the devil got well. No, saint no saint was he. Let's try that again. Some of you didn't get as far as the devil yet. 
Repeat it after me. The devil was sick. A saint he'd be. The devil got well. No saint was he. And so many times, you know, when people are down, they'll promise God so many things. Say either amen or ouch. Oh God, if you'll help me, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do the other. I won't do this and I won't do the other. The devil was sick. A saint he'd be. The devil got well. No saint was he. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? At least you'd laugh and nobody would think you were like that. Let me hear you say, away with spare tire religion. Away with spare tire religion. Say it with your hands and voices. Away, away with, spare with spare tire religion. See, I've got enough of it. You see, because my experience with spare tires has been late at night upon the most inconvenient occasions. Once on a long river bridge driving alone and on the New Jersey Turnpike about 1 a.m. on a Monday morning after preaching in New York City and Philadelphia twice on the same Sunday. In both cases, there was no air in the spare. Do you keep air in your spare? Let's make it a personal question. Do I keep air in my spare? You see, if you treat faith in God like a spare tire, most people, well, they don't even know if they've got a spare tire. Some people just assume they've got it. Like that day when the caravan was leaving Jerusalem, and it said that Jesus' family just assumed that Jesus was in the crowd, and he wasn't. And so people sometimes will have a flat tie, and then they'll go and take out the spare and discover there's no air in it because they haven't looked at it. They haven't checked it. After that experience with the spare tire on that long river bridge in South Carolina one hot summer night, and I pulled out the spare and some nice people stopped and they helped to change the tire but there was no air in it and the mosquitoes were bad. I mean those are big mosquitoes. To show you how big they are somebody said once that they were out camping in the woods and the mosquitoes were so big that after they had gone to bed in their little teepee huts at a Two great big giant mosquitoes crawled in and looked at them. And one said to the other, shall we eat them now? The other one said, yeah, we better not take them back home because the big ones will get them. Well, anyway, it was a most inconvenient time that night. It was a hot summer night in South Carolina in the middle of a long river bridge. I was by myself and the tire blew out. I hadn't paid any attention to it. Just like some people don't pay any attention to God until they have a blowout. Everybody say amen. amen. Then when they have a blowout they're calling on God, Jesus, Reverend Ike and everybody else. Holy Mary, Mother of God. They're calling on St. Christopher, St. Anthony. <laughs> because they've had a blowout in life. But you see, you better check your faith in God every day. Let me hear you say, check your faith in God every day. 
So over the years, I've made a checklist that's supposed to be in every automobile owned by this organization. It's a checklist. And the driver of that car is supposed to check it out by this checklist every day to be sure everything is in working order, that there's even a flashlight in there that works. Turn it on and be sure it shines because you can't live on dead batteries. Let me hear you say, I can't live on dead batteries. Because I've had that happen too and had an emergency at night. Yeah, the spare had air, but the batteries and the flashlight were dead. So I tell the people who check the cars, don't just look at the flashlight, turn it on. I don't want to be caught without a guiding light on the edge of night. Say with me again, away with spare tire religion. And you see, all you people who are living by some kind of spare tire religion, that's dangerous. Because I'll tell you why. What? When you have your blowout, if you have not been checking your faith and nourishing it and building it every day, it might not work. That's why some people, when they have their blowouts, they'll come here then. And then there's some will go away and say, yeah, um, I went there and nothing happened to me. <laughs> no, you didn't have any air in your spare. Your batteries were dead. Well, let's go on and find out what to do.